In this segment, we want to show you guys how to hit the ball really big, hit it past your partners and your four ball, and reach those par fives and two shots. You don't really have to be very big and strong to hit the ball a very long way, but we need a good technique. It's all going to start with a stance. When you want to hit the ball longer, think width all the time. We're going to make our stance a little wider when you want to hit the ball a little bigger, but not too wide so that you don't have a big swing where you can't uh, turn your shoulders too much because you want to make a, at least a 90 degree turn with your shoulders. Another thing you want to think about is you want to keep the club pretty low to the ground. You want to really remember that you've got to take it back quite slowly and think width as I say. You want to, as wide as you can take it back you're going to make a nice big arc because the wider you take it back the bigger your swing is going to become the bigger your follow through is going to become and the bigger your, shot, your shot's going to be. So let's try one. Take a nice wide stance. Be comfortable over the ball. Get your chin up a little bit. And now we're going to take it back slowly and big. Well, that's not too bad, that one. So as you address the golf ball, put it on your left heel, okay? Relax your, relax your legs, your body, and just swing it big. It's really not all that hard. You got to think about, you got to move your chest away from the ball a little bit, get your shoulder underneath your chin, and uh, just keep everything pretty slow. Widen your stance, widen your, your backswing, and make a big turn. Right down the middle. And um, I'll show you this last one, where you can hit the ball big again. Tee the ball up really high, okay? You can hover the club a little bit behind the ball and um, you know just take your time open your shoulders your stance just a little bit give yourself time and make a nice big turn again believe me you'll be hitting it past your playing partners in your four ball and you're going to reach those par fives and two Okay, now let's recap on a couple of things I just showed you. One of the really important things I think you should know is how to hover the club just above the ground, behind the ball. This will help you to get the, ball, the club back in a really smooth manner and get it to the top really smooth where you can accelerate through the ball. Where I see a lot of problems the guys have is that they leave the club on the ground and that makes them to try and pull the club away quickly. You know, the, the, the secret is we got to take the club back slowly and then accelerate from the top through the ball. This way, if you start quickly, you're going to come back to the ball really slow. So let's see how it works. Hover the club just above the ground, behind the ball, and this will help you to take it back smooth. That worked for me. You know, a lot of times when I play in pro-ams and my amateur partners hit bad shots, they say, keep your head down. I agree, you want to keep your head down, but you don't want to keep your head down this way, okay? That is keep your head down, but it's going to restrict your backswing in a way because you're going to be taking it back this way, okay? It's going to restrict your backswing and that might cause you to make a reverse pivot. What I suggest you do, bring your chin up a little bit. Your head is still going to be down facing the ball, but bring your chin up a little bit. That's going to help you make a nice smoother turn and get your left shoulder under your chin. This is going to make you make a nice big turn, about a 90 degree turn, and you can hit the ball a long way that way. Let's see if it works. So take your normal stance, bring your chin up just a little bit. Oh, 
I believe that's going to work for you and you're going to hit the ball a lot better and a lot longer. It's reassuring to we lesser mortals that even the best players make mistakes. In the 1994 Masters, Ernie certainly made one that he will remember for a long, long time. But as Ernie explains, while striving to improve our game, we can and should regard our mistakes as part of the learning process. Yeah, I would say my most damaging shot must have been at the US Masters last year, in 1994. Well, I had an outside chance of winning the, the golf championship. I mean, I was three shots behind with uh, six to go. And uh, I knew if I could have made a couple of more birdies coming in, you know, post the score on the scoreboard, you never know what can happen. I got to number 13 there. I chose a three wood. 13 is a hole where it goes from right to left, which is perfect for me, uh, especially the way I hit my three wood. But, uh, you know, I just tried to cut off too much of the corner there and, um, you know, just pulled it way, way left, you know, the club face closed too quickly and uh, was, I swung it way too quick. So, you know, everything just went to the left and the ball went straight left with a draw and uh, 